Hi everybody, it's just me LTM. Today is another yarn test. Today I'm going to use my Addy 22 needle machine. Have you been told you can't use cotton in your machine? I have seen this comment many, many, many times on lots of different Facebook pages related to circular knitting machines. So I'm doing a yarn test today. This is Annette Erickson Eco Cotton Blend XL. It is 85% cotton and 15% polyester. It's quite a thick yarn. I've used other cottons in my machine. Have a look at those videos. I'll put some links down below. So you can see this cotton is considerably thicker than the one that I've already used in my machine. So I'm going to make soap sacks with this. I thought cotton's a great idea for soap sacks. So let's have a look and see how this goes in my machine. To start with, I'm going to put on some waste yarn, do the standard cast on in front, behind, and front, behind. I'll just crank a few rows of waste yarn. Now for this cast on end, just coming to the end of the first colour of waste yarn, I'm then going to do a single row of a contrasting colour. This is simply going to make it easier to remove the waste yarn when I get to the end and uh, putting it all together. So just a single row of contrasting colour and now to start with the project yarn now I'm going to do a double brim using the standard double brim technique like you would do if you're using if you're making a beanie so I need to go quite loosely for the first row because yes cotton doesn't have a lot of stretch in it so I need to go very loosely for the first couple of rows so that later on I'm going to be able to lift up that first row of stitches onto back onto the needles to form the double brim which in this case is going to be a drawstring channel so I'm just going to go quite slowly and very loosely I'm also setting my counter, what oh, we forgot, to zero. You can see I'm not putting any tension on this yarn whatsoever. Pull some out from the ball. And although it's not necessary, I am actually going to tie a very loose knot with the waste yarn. Just it helps me find stitches later on. Right, so that's the first row done very loosely. I'm going to keep going fairly loosely for another couple of rows. I'm going to do 10 rows in total and then I'll make the drawstring channel. I'll keep the camera running so you can see how this goes, whether I get any uh, skipped, dropped or tucked stitches as I go. But I'll speed it up for you. And here we are at 10 rows. Now what I'm going to do is use a latch hook to pick up the first row of stitches and put them back up on the needles to form a channel that will be for my drawstring. This is the technique that you use to make a double brim on a single layered beanie as well. I'll put a link to the video that I first followed when I started learning how to do this in the description box below if you're interested to have a look. So it's a matter of following down the row of stitches when the needle is up and grabbing that stitch I actually like to start on the second one because I find it tricky to find the first stitch so follow this down pick up the stitch and pop it on the needle and crank 
Now you need to make sure this stitch falls down so that it's going to get knitted. Second stitch. And because I did my first row with a very loose tension, there's no problem trying to do this at all. If I had uh, not bothered doing loop, very loose tension, then potentially this would be quite tricky. So I'm just going to go around and do this for all of the stitches and I'll come back when I have finished doing that. So I'm just uh, coming around two more of these stitches to go. It does get a little bit tight as you get closer to the end but that's to be expected. Just got to make sure this comes down. And here is my last one. Put that on there. Right. So that is my double brim now made. So it's now on row 11. And I'm going to do a further 21 rows for a total of 32 rows. Now this time I can use a little bit of tension on the cotton. I don't need to run it as loosely as I did the first time around. Has to be expected, a bit uh, grumbly on that first round because of the double stitches, but now I'm just going to crank out another 20 rows, 21 rows. And here I am at row 32. So now I'm going to give myself a reasonable length at the end because I will be crocheting the end closed. So give myself a reasonable bit of a tail and then some waist yarn rows to finish off. Finish off the waist yarn rows, so now just put the yarn in the middle and crank to get the project off your machine. And there we have it. So it does have some stretch, contrary to what you would think, you would not really expect it to stretch as much as it does. Um, but here is the double brim, so that is going to be my drawstring channel. I'm going to crochet an I-cord to go through there. I'll just remove this waist yarn from here and I will crochet this end together straight across. And there is a soap sack. The bars of soap I have are quite large, so you may not need to do yours quite as big as this. So these are the bars of soap I have, they're quite large, and once this is crocheted up at the bottom, it fits in here really quite nicely. So there you are. Can you use cotton in your Addy 22 needle knitting machine? Yes, you can, I say. As well as these soap sacks I have made using that thinner uh, cotton yarn that I showed you earlier. I have made thinner ones as well. These ones, oh you'll notice too that I have turned this one inside out and I'm using it 
pearl side out and that's because it's for a soap sack I figured that having that little bit of extra rough texture would be appropriate for a soap sack so this one you can see you can see the soap through it but I, and that's why I wanted to try this thicker uh, cotton blend yarn in my machine to see if I could make a thicker one so yes I will also turn this one inside out this is the surface that you use on your skin so there you go you can use cotton in your Addy circular netting machine don't believe all those people that tell you online that you can't if you enjoyed this video and found it useful I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up that will tell the YouTube algorithm this is the kind of content that you like and so you'll get recommended more of the kind of videos you want to see. And if you really liked it, I would love it if you would subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day. See ya.